Let's talk specifically about this season. Um, was there a feeling early in the year when you surveyed all these horses at Clarehaven and thought, well, this could be a little bit special? No, I mean, you always, oh, of course, it's, it's a lot of horses, a lot of good horses. Um, and, uh, of course, horses last year did very well, so you hoped that they were going to carry on. But uh, when you start off the season, you know, you, you don't... You, well, I didn't dare to think that this year was going to be very special because you can only disappoint yourself then, you know, so you just keep working, keep your head down in them. And, and just hope they come right at the right time. And it's very fortunate they have. I mean, started off um, obviously in the Craven and the Guineas and, and things like that. And, you know, after those meetings, we, we, we kicked on. I mean, there should have been an Oaks win in between there somewhere, but it wasn't to be. But, you know, since then, we've had a few good winners. Was it your fault that the Fugue was beaten? I mean, did you think. Yeah, I fouled this up. I've made a mess of it. I should have won. I, I, I don't think it was my fault because it was one of those things that she she jumped out of the stores and she was doing too much out of the out of the store. So I took her back a little bit, and I just wanted her to get to get her relaxed to leave her alone for a stride. I was be, I was behind Johnny who was on vow, and um, and they came in from the outside and they came in so quick. Uh, and I couldn't do nothing about it. Obviously, everything went wrong after that, you know, and she did very well to finish third, but it's just one of those things. Of course, if I, if I could have ridden the race again, I would have just had her up there, and if she had been too keen, she would have been too keen, but, you know, she's a speed filly, so I wanted to, to try and um, save her energy, but she finished third, she should have won. Um, you know, I felt very sorry for the, for the connections. Uh, you know, I'm sure she'll repay them. Do you think there was a bit of game, gamesmanship going on insofar as you were the filly to beat and they all came in around you and said, you're not going anywhere? Um, yeah, just, I, of course, I mean, you know, they got me out of the equation pretty early. Uh, went very slow. The horses that came around me, I mean, it was, we, we crawled around the horses that came around me. Uh, they, didn't, they didn't improve their positions. They sat mid-division or further back of a very slow pace, so... It was just one of those manoeuvres that was very, it was very annoying because it didn't help anyone. It, or it was detri detrimental for me. Um, so I mean, I'm sure the winner is a very good filly, but... You reckon yours is better? She should have won, as simple as that. Anyway. anyway. It's interesting that you, you had the golden opportunity to talk about pretty much any great moment of the season, and that's the one thing that's still really bugging you. Oh, absolutely. You know, you. you you ride all these fantastic winners and you ride all these fantastic horses, but I think you should always, you always keep your feet on the ground when you think, well, what should have won mm. that didn't win? What would you say has been the single most satisfying moment of the year so far? Well, everything apart from that, really. <laughs> you know, um, I mean, it's been a fantastic year. Uh, the way the season is, it's very relentless, so you can't, you never really get time to sit back and. Mm. And, 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 and you, you enjoy it because, you know, sit back in the car and you on the way home and you're pleased because you want it, but you don't get to enjoy it as such because you're always thinking of, well, in two days' time, I've got to be there. Next day, you've got to be there. So you're always looking ahead. And um, I, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing because at least you can keep focus. Uh, people have always said that, that good horses make good jockeys, but isn't it really the case, William, that when you're riding in Group 1 races against the best horses, against the best jockeys, it in fact requires a, a rather advanced set of skills. Not, not physically. Well, of course, uh, you know, but uh, uh, physically you, you're the same jockey in a Group 1 or a, or a seller. Sure. It takes a, it, it takes a, a mindset. Mm. You know, you, you need to... You know, you, you obviously got to... You obviously, you've got to have a good horse under you, otherwise you're not going to win. So, um, But it takes a mindset and you just need to go out there and not being scared to lose. Because if, you, if you're frightened to lose, then, then things, things are wrong, wrong from the word go. I was interested listening to Ryan Moore in a, an interview just a couple of days ago when he said that being champion jockey doesn't matter quite as much or isn't, isn't quite as significant, perhaps, as it was a couple of decades ago. Uh, do you agree with that? I don't really know, to be honest. I mean, he's been champion jockey how many times? Two? Three? Something like that. 
So he, it's, it's all right for him to say that. Um, but of course, he would be very hard to beat. I mean, Ryan, you know, he, he's, he's the man in demand, isn't he? Um, but I've got a very good stable behind me. I've got good agent, you know, get good, good spare rides. So I'll, I'll certainly try my best. I try my best to ride as many winners as I can. Whether, you know, when people ask you, are you going for the championship or not? I mean, if you say no, that means that you're not going to try and ride as many winners as you can. If you say yes, I'm going to try and ride as many winners as I can. But you're not saying I'm going for. I am, of course, I'm riding as many winners as I can. But I'm not. I'm not going to go to Timbuk Two for a ride. What are Ryan Moore's biggest attributes? Do you think he's a very good jockey? He's he's a very good jockey. You know, he's he's got a very good mental mental attitude. Uh, he's got a very good jockey. Yeah, he, you know, they. <laughs> He's he's all round uh, he's all round a very good jockey and I think you know obviously I think Frankie de Tori is pound for pound the best jockey riding and I mean Ryan is not very far behind him. What is it about Frankie de Tori that makes you say that with such confidence? Well, if you watch him ride, I mean his his physical, his he, when he gets on a horse he just he's part of a horse. And uh, I said to somebody the other day, you're, you're always. You're always gutted when you're in the picture and he's upside you because he would look, make any jockey look, look not ordinary, but he just looks so much better than anybody else on the horse. Uh, you know, and he's uh, and he gets every little bit out of a horse, and obviously he's got a lot of experience, but he's still, he's still the one we all have to beat.